first day of racing and you guys came out swinging really hard and took a win to the first race. What happened? <laughs> we, uh, we were, we didn't really have a good start. Uh, we got tangled up and uh, on a mess on the pin end, uh, but we, uh, we ended up, uh, we picked the right side. We, we had strong beliefs in the left hand side and uh, uh, it really paid off. Uh, I think we rounded the top three, like third or fourth on the first mark. And we had uh, two good uh, runs and uh, the second up in was excellent. So it paid off and, uh, and we won the first race. You know, we, we had a really good, really lucky first race. And then we kind of fell back to pretty much our own standards after that. But we're really happy. We're gonna be smiling and thinking a lot for the, about the first race. And first day at the Worlds of Racing. Uh, talk us through the day, please. Yeah, no, so listen, it was um, a different day because it was um, a lot different than yesterday where we got blown out and today was pretty soft. Um, uh, maybe top breeze of maybe 10 knots, uh, but it was pretty light most of the day. And um, tricky, you had to uh, figure out what side to get on, where the, you know, where the velocity was coming from and just try to stay in the stay in the breeze and, and um, do a pretty good job. We, we did not get off uh, the starting line very well, the, um, either the first two races, and, uh, but we were able to kind of figure it out and come back. We actually had a great start on the third race and didn't do as well, but that's because we kind of tacked ourselves in a little bit too much up, the, um, up at the top half of the first weather leg. But, um, you know, it's really fun racing. The, uh, the boats are going fast, everybody's sailing really hard, so it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, but it's definitely tricky here. So in the second race, uh, you had a substantial lead, not oh. just by a bit, but a lot. What happened there? You know, we just, uh, we, we played every shift pretty well, and we actually sailed downwind very well. So I think that's why we extended. And, um, you know, you just get lucky every once in a while, and it, and it works out. So we just kind of extended, and the other guys were working, you know, fighting off people behind them, so I can appreciate that why we got a gap there. It's not, not that big of a deal, actually. You're a defending champion. You got off to a good start on the first day, uh, aiming for the title again? Well, I was, uh, I was told a long time ago that you can't win a regatta in the first day, but you can certainly lose it. So um, trying, to, trying to stay in the hunt. And uh, we had a good first day. We're happy and, you know, we got, a, we got three or four more really hard days in, in front of us. The worlds have started. Yes. And uh, it was a tricky first day. Can yes. you very, talk us through it? Yeah, very tricky. It's like lake sailing uh, in our hometown, Munich, by, uh, in Bavaria. So we have some lakes and it's very shifty. And the current is coming uh, the second uh, thing to this. So it's very, it's, but it's amazing to be here. So we enjoy it very well. Thank you. So in the third race, you finished second. Yes. Uh, talk us through that race, please. I, we had a very good start on the right side. Uh, had a good lifts up, a very, very good speed. And then the, um, at the end, we, we uh, switched on the left side. So we were the first round uh, third. And then we had a lot of fights with Lenny and the US boys. So at the end, we are lucky for finishing first Corinthian and second overall. So what's the goal for uh, the whole regatta? Oh, this is uh, here. Are amazing good sailors. Uh, so we will be happy to finish under the first 15. This will be our goal.